Okay, time to go out and take a look at the antennas. So let's go. It's cold today. Alright, well here's the butternut vertical, and I've had a little bit of trouble with this recently. The tuning unit here, an LDG remote tuner, had become intermittent, and so it turned out to be the coax connector, and uh, I took it off and fixed it, tightened it up, and covered it with dielectric grease to keep moisture out and then put a dog poop bag over the top of it. High technology indeed and uh, it has been working pretty well. Uh, let's take a look around. Yes, here we have the inverted V maypole antenna. Wind chimes are going there. Well, the wires look to be pretty good. Things are working well. Plus or minus solar activity, of course. And then let's make our way over into the berm. And here we have another vertical. This one is a standalone vertical for 10 meters through 80 meters, allegedly, but really it only works on 20 meters and 15 and 10. Um, doesn't really have any radials other than the underground fed coax. So, all right, well, one more thing to check over here. Yep, the shield covering the coax connectors is in place. Uh, there's a ground rod under there, and uh, that's where, uh, where the coax starts its journey out to the backyard. Three different, or two different runs from this location uh, out to the backyard, all underground. And uh, you can see there, I think, a little bit of wire bale that protects it from the squirrels. So that's it. Not too bad a day out here. Cold is all get out, but that's just how it is in Minnesota in January. Not a good time to have antenna problems, that's for sure.